For today's video, I tried on a bunch of this month's new releases from Cezanne just to figure out what are the top 15 that I could narrow it down to that would work perfectly as we're heading into early spring. So today I'm working with a lot of textures, some timeless neutrals, and mixes of warmer pieces like sweaters and cardigans, but also lighter items like dresses and tanks just as we're heading into these warmer months. So thank you to Cezanne for working with me and being my sponsor for today's video. They're actually working with me every single month this year, which is so exciting. But my goal with these videos is to bring you all the most value possible so that if you love this brand as much as I do, then you'll really be able to decide which pieces are going to work with your style and your wardrobe the best. And I linked everything down in the description um, of this video and then on the top comments, you can find those links as well. So with that, let's get started. Let's start with the Charlotte cardigan. So I got an extra extra small. One note about sizing is that they really recently introduced the extra extra small and the size zero to a lot of their pieces and ever since then I've been having a better fit when it comes to the shoulder placement. I think as a petite it's just a little tiny bit of difference that makes it look a bit more tailored. And so that's the size I went with. One thing as well is that lots of these are similar to this knit where it's very um, almost sheer in the way that it's designed. So that's the way I like to wear it. I like to wear um, nippies with it as well if you wanna block out anything, but you also could wear a cami underneath. So it really depends how you wanna wear it. What I love about this one is the drape of the material is really nice and it lends itself to different stylings. So I like to actually have this open toward the bottom and let that just drape over my pants. Otherwise, I would button it up and tuck it in. One more detail about this that is so remarkable is look how long the cuffs are. They are so narrow and beautiful in the way that they're designed and then the rest of the material just lays very nicely as it's a balloon sleeve. The second piece that I loved so much was this Valencia blouse. I got this one in a size two and it is more loose fitting. And so what's happening here is that it looks a little bit more chic when it is looser fitting to me. And I think that it lends itself to the design of it being that the sleeves are very um, open here. And also I love the little puffed sleeve detail as well as the braid that goes all the way down. This I really like to tuck in and then that braid just sort of ends there there, and it's just a really nice lovely look as if I would have picked this out from a vintage store. One more note about this is that it does have a very deep V so if you have a smaller chest like me then this might work very well for you. For a really lovely crocheted cami I went with the Francisco top. I got this in both the black and the cream. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite but I really am drawn to both of them equally. I think that whenever you find a really great shirt, it's okay to add more than one color in your wardrobe because it'll work really well for you as far as lifestyle and cut and everything else. So I love the crochet detail. I love the button line here. And I think that it's gonna just be one of those perfect things that I can wear between now and layering with it up until like summertime. So I'm gonna get a lot of traction out of both of these tops and you'll no doubt see them plenty on this channel and on my Instagram. Um, but I love having that shape here with anything that's a V, anything like that is a really lovely neckline for anyone. And one thing that I get asked a lot is how to wear a bra with something like this. And again, those nippies that are by, I wear them from B6. They're just adhesives and they work really well. I've got a whole video about underwear and all of my suggestions if you want to check that out. As for a dress, I tried this black camellia dress and one thing I noticed right away is instead of belting it, which would have been fine, I actually wore it without one and I loved just the flow of it. The material is very drapey and it is a little bit on the heavy side and that's also because it's lined, which is so nice when it comes to dresses for early spring. Um, as far as the details on it that are unique is that, you know, I think that Cezanne is really known for really fancy shirts like this, but just to carry that down into a dress makes this something very unique. And as long the collar here, I think it's so beautiful to have all these embroidered parts on it, as well as, I don't know what to call it, but it's like this ribbed detail on the front. It just makes it look much more um, like from a different era and it sort of transports the look to me. It feels very um, like timeless and that's really what I'm going for with each one of these pieces. So this is a lovely piece to add. Next is the, I'm gonna practice my French, 
Malu, no, I don't know how to pronounce it. Malu jumper. This is an extra, extra small, and so it's meant to lay very open and loose. The really interesting thing about this is that it has an open back, but I actually like to wear that in the front. Um, just after trying it, that was like my preferred way. Although I like things that can be very versatile in my wardrobe, so that if you want to have multiple ways in which you can style something, your options are much less limited. So I really did like the knitting here as well. It's very sheer, which is so lovely for a sweater. I feel like it's very difficult to find sweaters that aren't too bulky or cumbersome if you want sort of that like crocheted detail as well. And as far as wool is concerned, like just rubbing my hand along this, it feels so soft. It does not feel itchy to me at all. Um, but I know that some people have sensitivities. So just sort of judge that for yourself. And another way that I like to wear sweaters like this is with a silk cami or even one of the crocheted camis would be really lovely just as a layering piece if you want something to peek out. I had to pick up the scarlet blouse. If you've taken my course, you'll know why. It's also the name that I definitely want to name my future daughter if I ever have a daughter. Um, so so yeah, I had to pick this up. I really did like the design of it. I love having this part right here, which is a little bit more um, skin showing there, which just makes it a little bit more flirty, but still incredibly sophisticated. The material is much more stiff than some of those drapier options before. And as far as the back, it does have a button design where you've got that slit, so it's easy to be able to take on and off, but also absolutely wonderful to be able to put your hair up and expose that. So all together, this is like one of those more statement tops, but yet still very pulled back in its design. It's not something that you're gonna feel weird about wearing every week even. The minute that I pulled this out of the box, I wanted to try it on because I just love the heathered color of this. Anything that has that beautiful detail where it's like a little bit into the beiges, but yet still pulled back in that sort of faded photograph sort of look just makes me just... Oh, I love it. I also love that it's incredibly beautiful in the way that it's crocheted. You still can see through the hanger here that it is a little bit on the sheer side, which allows for it to naturally be styled in any way that you want to. But I also thought that it was nice that it's a thicker material. So this is that wool and kid mohair blend, um, very similar to the one before it. But this one has just a tiny bit more structure in the way that it is knitted. I also liked it just as a shirt because it does have that V neckline here. I think that that's that's incredibly flattering for anybody. And altogether, this was something that didn't feel too formal to me. So it could be something that I could wear so easily with jeans or anything else. Um, so this was definitely something I wanted to pick up. And in person, it's a dream. For a more unique denim jacket, I tried this Erwana jacket. I love it as well because of these big pockets. And when I first tried it on, I was thinking I would just wear it with a cami underneath or like a tank and just make it a little bit more casual and loose. But when I put it on, I really liked the style of it being worn with a belt just because it seemed to make it more of a statement outfit. Like it just had a little bit more of an edge to it and looked more put together. So that's just another way that you can style this. But I personally love the collar here because it's very wide and it's stiff. So if I want to, you know, keep it popped, then it actually has a really, really cool look to it. I also thought that what made this very different and able to style is that the sleeves are just a little bit bigger than a normal jacket would be and that allowed it to have a really cool drape and just made the outfit seem much more high-end than a different denim jacket that I would have gotten from anywhere else. So this was a home run to me. I like the color. It's just a beautiful like solid piece. Absolutely beautiful on the details here as well with the thread. Um, that's sort of a typical like denim countryside look but this just still had so much style to it that I can't recommend it enough. This next piece is so unique because I love seeing brands collab with each other and I feel like Cezanne plus C New York is a really great combination. There are things that I can kind of pick up on from each brand within this piece, but also there is a seamlessness to it because I think both brands love those big embroidered collars. And so this piece is one that I tried because I loved the pattern on it. Anything that's like a floral design, I like to have a tiny print on just because it's a little bit more in proportion with my body um, and I also think that it's just much more sophisticated look 
Now, as far as the material, this is a cooler material, so it's very gonna it's gonna be great to layer with as we get into um, these like March and April months that can be hit or miss as far as how warm they actually are, but also could be so easily styled with some shorts or a skirt when it comes to summertime. So I have a lot of traction I'm gonna be able to get out of this. Next is the Reuben cardigan. And here again, I got it in black and cream. I think both of them are equally as beautiful. It just depends on what you're in the mood to style them for and which occasion. What I really liked about them is that when you wear them open in the neckline, it actually drapes and lays open. That's not true of all cardigans all the time, depending on what you're looking for in them as far as the material. And so this is gonna be so excellent to wear now and then throughout spring. I mean, when you're thinking of a spring cardigan, this is textbook, like it's just absolutely perfect for that. And I feel like it's so classy and sophisticated, both colors, it's just gonna be such a great thing. Even if you wanna wear it with a dress, I feel like that would be perfectly reasonable when you're trying to stay warm in a dress, if you're going to an event or anything like that. I feel like I always wanna reach for something, especially if it's outdoors. <laughs> Sticking with that same textured look, this is the Aiden jumper. Now this is short sleeved, which is gonna be so lovely for warmer weather but also the fact that it still is a knit is quite consoling to me and I like that it has this button line here along the shoulder anytime I can find one of the Cezanne pieces that has that then I just find it so incredibly charming and also another way that you can style it so you can even open that up a little bit and wear it that way but ultimately it's just a little bit more of an elevated basic when you've got those details there it also makes it easier to combine with you know, the, a different color pant. If you want something that's in these colors here, then that is lovely to be able to pair that with. Or jewelry, anything like that that you can consider adding as an accessory is going to really help you define what this will go well with. I personally liked that it has this cream color because it's a bit more on that vintage side. Like as you can tell through all of these, they sort of look like something you'd find in an old photograph, which is so charming. And again, it has that crocheted detail here. so. So again, it's a little bit on the flirty side depending on how you want to wear it. Last week on my shorts, I actually wore an off-the-shoulder bodysuit, and so I wanted to try Cezanne's new version, which is the Thea bodysuit. This is an extra small, so I sized up a little bit on it, and I feel like it's a wonderful look. I feel like their shoulders aren't really dropping down whenever I'm wearing them, which is so lovely. I actually talked with you guys a little bit about that, and that was like the one annoying part about off-the-shoulder bodysuits is when they don't stay put, and both of the the ones that I've had from Cezanne, including the one that I'm wearing today, which isn't quite off the shoulder, but they all seem to stay put very well. So um, the other thing that's really great about their bodysuits is that the fastener at the bottom is not incredibly difficult to put on and take off. Like it's not those little snaps that make just, it's just so difficult to use those. These have hooks and I just feel like they're a lot easier. This has a rib detail and it also has buttons along the cuff here. So it's just one of those very unexpected details. I wore this the other night and I absolutely loved it and it feels like something I can wear with anything. Although I really did like the look of them with black skinny jeans. This next top is definitely more of a unique look, but I just had to try it. This is the Dara shirt, and I'm really happy I did try it because if you're just one of those people who doesn't want to tuck in your top, then this could be an excellent way to style something. I love that it comes with a belt along with it, just because there's obviously no buttons along here. So this is going to just cinch right there, and the material is something that you can play with. It can be as like loud as you want to, or you can make it very tamed and so I liked to just have that right on the middle and to be able to cinch with it and let the rest of the material just drape very nicely and I felt like this was one of those pieces that if I was maybe curating a museum I'd wear something like this it felt easy and comfortable to wear almost like pajamas but yet at the same time it was so classy so I can't wait to be able to add this into my rotation I love to have lots of white tops because I feel like they are a little bit more fragile, so if I get 
to wear a bunch of them, then they get less worn out as time goes on. As you can tell, I really like bodysuits. I like them because I like tucking in my top. So it just makes it very effortless. It makes it more seamless. And so this is the Ida bodysuit. It's made out of lyocell and cotton. It's quite a durable material. It's thicker than you might imagine. But to me, it just felt very ballet. Like it's giving me ballet vibes. Um, and I got it in an extra small and so that just makes it to where it's not going to be digging in anywhere Otherwise, I could have gone for the extra extra small But I think I really like extra extra small for that shoulder placement. So that's sort of my thinking there um, And I really just thought that this was a piece that I could wear well with Different things that would make me feel a little bit more chic and sporty in my day And so this will be an excellent piece even if I just want it as a layering piece underneath some of these sweaters. I actually paired it with a really unique skirt. This was something so beautiful when it came out of the box. Obviously the color is in line with everything else and I feel like each one of these more cream pieces, well not each one of them, but a few of them have more of a blush tone to them, which this one does. And I liked that it's basically my wrap skirt that I love so much for springtime that are made out of linen, only it's not quite time to wear something that cool yet. And so this is a perfect piece. I love the deep suede. It's just so thick and comforting and consoling, almost like you're wearing a blanket. And I also liked the way that it closes. So there's two buttons along here and then it's got a buckle right here so you can really cinch it in there. And I feel like because of wearing it, I thought that I would wanna wear it with something more tight fitting on top. So this was just the perfect combination with that cami um, that's a bodysuit, just showing that it is tight fitting with loose, like we talked about in my last video, how to style loose pieces. And it does have a wrap here, so it's not anything where spring breezes are gonna just like kick that up and expose everything like this is going to stay perfectly secure especially with how weighted it is and so those were my pieces for this month of February lots of different neutrals and beautiful textures let me know in the comments which one was your favorite as far as which piece which outfit and then also if you are buying any of them then let me know that in the comments as well because then I'll be able to know that for the future and it'll really help me to know what you might want to see Later. Also, thank you to Cezanne for sponsoring this video. It literally means the whole world because I am very, very particular about who I collab with. And so when I have a brand that is this great at not only the pieces, but the opening experience and the cost for what you're getting, like this is why I'm so happy to work with them monthly. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.